Our assistant principal, Ms. Deborah Ellis, also plays a huge role in helping me link up to our community. And she came to me and said that she had had a, some conversations, and I had seen this too, with students that were mortified of the police, terrified of the police. So we were looking for a new business partner. And a lot of times when we see, seek out business partnerships, a lot of businesses want to write us a check. You know, here's some money to go buy some computers. You know, you need some more iPads, here's a, here's a check to do that. But w one of the things we're looking for are relationships. We want to see professionals in our building that look like our kids, that act like our kids, that are coming from the same backgrounds as our kids, interacting with our students, which is harder to do than to write a check. So, so we saw this opportunity with building a relationship with the Prince William County Police Department and had some conversations with some sergeants and some um, uh, school, school security officers and, they, were, and they, they loved what we were talking about and they were looking for some opportunities. So once a week, officers in full uniform would come in and interact with the kids, play games with the kids, talk to the students, be mentors to students. You know, we didn't get a dime from this, um, but we got re the power of relationships. And so now when something happens in the neighborhood, these same kids recognize these police officers and now they're not villains, these, these, they're heroes because they were able to break down that, that misconception. That's what schools need to do um, and to me that's actually great community policing um, and it's more proactive than, than, than reactive. So those are the types of things that we're always seeking to do as a school and it, it takes a lot of time but great people like our assistant principal and our team, I mean they just do an amazing job of that and it helps just build up the entire culture of our school.